Hi, this is Mike, and in this lesson I want to show you how a faculty member will check the student uh, safe assignments for authenticity. Um, so I've logged into my Blackboard course site that I have a safe assignment that I've created, and I'm going to go to my control panel. Let me close my menu here. I'm just going to close my menu by clicking on the name of the course, and it'll shrink my menu down. Um, and now if I go into my course tools right here in the control panel, I'll see my safe assign link and I'll click on safe assign. Okay, from safe assign I will click on safe assignments. Uh, direct submit is if I wanted to submit a paper um, on my own that a student had sent me, um, if I wanted to check that one for plagiarism, but um, I click on safe assignments for the papers that the students submit directly through Blackboard. And here I'll see a list of all of the safe assignments that I've created. In this case, I've only created the one safe assignment example. Um, I'm going to pull down my chevron here by clicking on it. And I can click on View Submissions. So I see here um, I've got one submission. And I can download the submissions if I like. Or I can just use this um, little uh, bar here to see what is going on with the submissions. Um, the text button here will allow me to view the paper. The file button here with the arrow will allow me to download the paper. Uh, this matching number tells me what percent of the paper uh, SafeAssign believes is matching um, an existing paper out there. And in this case, this student has 100% of their paper matching. And then I have the essay report. And if I have that green check mark, that means that I can click on it and take a look at the report. Let me do that now. So I click on the safe assignment report and let me shrink this down so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so you'll notice that there's some paper information. Um, it tells me what percent is matching. Uh, it tells me what the assignment is, when it was submitted, um, and any comments that the student has submitted. It also gives me a list of suspected sources for this paper. And if I click on a source to view the original or click on the magnifying glass to see the source highlighted in the text below. Well, what that means is if I hover over this URL, you'll see it will um, light up in yellow or some other color. And then it will show me the paper text. I'll click on that to highlight it. And I'll click Highlight All. And now I can scroll through and I can see how much of my paper, the paper that was submitted, um, was found on the source that was cited. And it was obviously mainly all of it. So that is the basics of how a faculty member uses um, SafeAssign to go back and check for uh, authenticity in the paper.